rare season in a wheel of mud where I start the season undefeated. We've managed to go 2-0 and in our very first two games. We're rocking a 92 overall defense and an 86 overall offense. One thing I'm starting to notice is that D-lines in Madden are getting really powerful. There's so many activated X-Factor abilities. There's so many good players, so many good abilities. I need to prioritize my offensive line more than I ever have. We've already got 95 Marquise Pouncey and our prestige Trent Williams who were waiting on that team of the year card. By the way, I might be a little late on that Trent Williams when he does drop. I am in Hawaii right now as you're watching this. And I'll be there for about two months. Get flexed on. I own you, fraud. Nelson Aguilar, 86 overall, did have a legacy game last game, but I still need to upgrade my wide receivers. We need a fullback. We need some backup tight ends. I don't know if 85 Shannon Sharp's really gonna cut it. I would love to get 96 Steve Smith from a prestige, but for right now, we've got 90 overall Steve Smith. And then defensively, Jalen Graham, Isaiah McDuffie, liabilities. Pete Werner can survive. I really do have faith in him. Sean Taylor and Derwin is probably like one of the most insane safety duos you could have right now, so totally fine with that. Devontae Adams, dude, he's kind of wishy-washy. He made probably the greatest interception I've ever seen last game, but he also got absolutely fucking mossed, completely dunked on by DK Metcalf while his ability was activated. So I'm like, I don't know about Shadow Devontae Adams, but he's definitely staying on the team. Derek Stingley, Devin Witherspoon, both could be better, but will be great right now. And then I love my D-line. Jonathan Hankins, yeah, probably not our end game guy, but we appreciate him for now. Backup Camp Chancellor, eventually want to upgrade him. Uh, and the rest, the rest looks amazing, man. It's Houston Texans season. We've obviously got some upgrades to make, but we're 2-0, and so we have margin. I always feel like whenever I talk about having margin to lose a game, I then proceed to go lose a game, so let's not talk about that. The very first wheel spin of Season 7, Episode 3. Hope you guys are doing amazing. You're very handsome. I like the uh, girth on that cock you got. One spin on the Wheel of Coins. We haven't spun the Wheel of Coins in a long, long time. Special teams, special plays, special players. One spin on the Wheel of Coins determines how many coins we can spend on one player. 200k. 200k, baby! It's not the absolute best. There is 500k and jackpot. But hey, 200k is gonna get me a dominant player. Who do we take here? We could take another elite wide receiver to pair with Jamar Chase. I do feel like that is pretty important. I'm kind of limited right now. Obviously, I've talked about how my offensive line is depleted, and I'd like to add an offensive lineman. What's 200k gonna get us? I think we gotta go offense. We have a 92 defense. Let's work on our offense. 200k can get us a 94 overall player. So we kind of just need to look for the absolute best 94 overall that we can get. Let's pretend we went wide receiver. What would our options be? 94 Nico Collins. It is Texan season. It's literally Nico Collins or Rod Smith. Okay, those are not great options. Not gonna lie. What about a left guard? We just complete the left side of our line. Oh, that's actually criminal. Isaac Samalo selling for 200,999. Seriously. You could get Zeitler for 200k on the dot. Kevin Zeitler is an absolute dog. He's listed as a pass protector, but he has run blocking stats that are incredible too. 6'4", 339. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. He actually is really slow though. This actually matters. Getting to that second level is pretty important, but I still really like Zeitler. I'm gonna take him for 200k. A lot better than the silver I got in. I think this is the right call. 200k on the money. My only wide receiver options weren't that great. Oh, uh, should have a discounted ability. Probably not zero AP though. If it was zero AP, I'd activate it for free. Natural talent or post up. Both are nice. We just don't have the bandwidth for it. So we will rock Kevin Zeitler at right guard. Very nice upgrade. I'm excited. Kevin Zeitler is the first ad on this episode. I still do want another wide receiver, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, Nelson Aguilar, but I don't know. Positions wheel 93 to 94 may not be up to us. So any 93 to 94 overall player, but they must be from the position this... I actually don't hate tight end at all. I really don't. I always use two tight ends. You guys know that. Gronk is amazing, but he needs a buddy. An 85 Shannon Sharp ain't it. Who's going to be the 94 overall tight end? That's Honestly, that works out really well. So there's Mercedes Lewis. There's Dalton Schultz. There's George Kittle. Dalton Schultz is insane. Dalton Schultz is so good. But I really have too many Texans players on this Texans team. I already have Will Anderson. I already have Derek Stingley Jr. We used CJ Stroud last season. I'm going to stay away from Dalton Schultz. I am kind of leaning towards George Kittle. This is a really fun option. The only thing we got to hope is if I fumble... George Kittle is obviously not going to be paying attention and he's not going to jump on it. So hopefully Gronk's around. I don't know how many of you are going to get that reference, but whatever. Hopefully we don't have Jameer Gibbs fumbling on the final play like last game. 94. Dude, we got two playoff players. I just realized that. Zeitler into Kittle. Kittle, super fast. Really good blocking stats too. Absolutely love 94 George Kittle. Such a sick tight end. Yeah, I'm going to go to slot wide receiver. He's actually a 94 overall at slot wide receiver. That's kind of crazy. So if there's, a, if there's any sets that are three wide receivers, one tight end, George Kittle will actually just come in. And then and we put Steve Smith in the backup just in case it makes the game go all weird. But that's that's literally perfect. All right, so we, we technically got a wide receiver and a tight end in one. Two playoff players in our first two spins. Will the third and final also be a playoff player? It's, ooh. 
Ooh, this is really fun. I haven't gotten this yet. All right, random mini game times 10K points. What does that mean? So there are 23 mini games between offense, defense, and special teams. The catch here is I don't get to pick. It's going to be a random mini game determined by our good friend Google right here. All we're going to do is take as many points as we get. We're going to multiply it by 10, and that's how many coins I get to spend on one player. So let's say I got rushing attack, and I got 50,000 points. I'd have 500,000 coins to spend on one player. Hey, Google, pick a random number between 1 and 23. Oh, shit. Eight. Eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pass skeleton. Nothing spooky here, just a quarterback and his skeleton crew of receivers trying to score as many passing touchdowns as possible. Now, I will say, taking a look at this, gold is 15,000, which means this probably isn't a super high scoring minigame, but that's okay. It could have been worse. Wide receiver battles 12. These are 4,500. Pass skeleton. Let's do it, baby. I'm the San Fran 49ers for this, but now that I think about it, I should have been the Texans. Complete passes within the time limit, score as many touchdowns as possible. You'll get bonus points for longer passes, skill moves and celebrating. Completed pass will increase your score multiplier. Incomplete will reset it. Oh, so we got to make sure we're always completing passes. That's the big thing here. Honestly, I kind of want to like test Ayuk just on that streak. Or maybe we should build our multiplier first. Successful skill moves, right? Like a juke. Does that give me something? A stiff arm? Juwan Jennings? Hey, it said skill moves would help me. That didn't help at all. Let's go, Ayuk. You got to hang on. No. So there goes my multiplier. Oh, that dig is open. Nice catch. I'm just going to throw to Ayuk. He's going to catch it and keep the multiplier, but I got to throw these balls faster, don't I? Let's just stack the multiplier, right? Big juke. We're at 1,200. We're getting somewhere. There's Debo. There's Debo. Good dive. We're at bronze level. Hang on. Beautiful catch. Oh, the escape route's got to be there, right? Don't need it because we got a touchdown. Juwan Jennings. All right, 5,576. I see a beauty right there. Hang on. Yes! Silver earned. Okay. We just take Debo underneath and let him get in there. Let him get in there. Go, Debo! Oh, he's not in. He's not quite in. Jawan Jennings, Super Bowl MVP. Oh, we got to go, Ayuk. We need the yards. Need the big yards. Okay, got me at 12,242. We got to throw the touchdown here. Mm, he's there. He's there. Hey, I will take that. I feel like I probably could have done a little bit better if I had stacked that multiplier earlier. But hey, 16,147 is 160,000 coins to spend on one player. So we know we're not getting a 94. We'll get a decent 93 here. Apparently, Geno Atkins has a left guard. Hilariously pretty good. Dude, he's got 82 speed. Actually, a damn good left guard. So Geno Atkins gets an ultimate legend. All the ultimate legends have an out of position 93 overall. All right, Geno Atkins is my first option right now. Let me see if there's anything else that really jumps out at me. There's Geno Atkins. There's Zion Johnson. There's Peter Scott. Karonsky, who we've had in the past. Cool, Strange, Dalton. There's honestly an insane amount of options, but dude, I'm gonna try this. 95,000 coins for left guard Geno Atkins. I, dude, the 82 speed is actually very important to me. Slip screens, getting to the second level. He's already a 93 overall. Our offensive line is missing one player, and that's right tackle. That's it. Take a look at that O-line, baby. Zeitler's up to a 95. Pouncey, Williams, and Geno Atkins now. Then at right tackle, we still have Soros Dahl. We gotta get him out of there, but we also added George Kittle. So it's a full offense episode. We're still gonna be rocking Steve Smith Aguilar and Chase, though, the challenge wheel, man. Dude, I worked my ass off for the four passing touchdowns last game, so hopefully we can get Octopus! Oh my god! Octopus! If you're a gambling degenerate like me, you might have seen a bet on DraftKings called Octopus. By the way, it's a horrible bet. Don't ever fucking take it, okay? Also, if you gamble, you're gonna lose money, so just let's not even talk about that. Octopus is when the same player that scores a touchdown also converts a two-point conversion. It is such a bizarre thing. I don't know why it's called Octopus. Oh, I do know. Octopus have eight tentacles. The same player's getting eight points. If Jameer Gibbs runs in a touchdown and then Jameer Gibbs converts the two-point conversion, Octopus. Current record of two and a we head in to get a dub, save our offensive lineman and George Kittle, and complete the octopus. Dude, I cannot fail the octopus. Not my first time getting octopus, bro. I have to clutch up. Okay, straight up, this guy's team is so fucking bad that I'm not going to play him. That's embarrassing. Ray Lewis, Jerry Rice, Glock Purdy. I'm excited to play Brock Purdy. Hey, we got Shadow, Devontae Adams, Flacco, and Ray. Home field advantage. That means I got the Crimson Unis. Let's have some fun, boys. Ray Lewis, Jerry Rice, Glock Purdy. I'm excited to play Brock Purdy. Hey, we got Shadow, Devontae Adams. Adams, Flacco, and Ray. Home field advantage. That means I got the Crimson Unis. Let's have some fun, boys. Brock Purdy's got always activated gunslinger. It's honestly kind of dope. Oh, he goes with a handoff. The Miles Sanders who goes down pretty quick. Who's going to get the octopus? That's the question. Actually, could get an early stop here. I don't think he runs it. Oh, he's got that out route. Good find. Good find. Good find to Heinz Ward. Mmm, Carter. Okay, we got Stingley, Derwin, Ray, Werner. I'm gonna go on Sean Taylor here. 
Does he have 88? Yes, he does. Darn it. That's what I was trying to get to. And he's kind of like, he's lining me up. I'm not going to lie. I like to see somebody rock Brock Purdy. You don't see this quarterback very often. Oh, Jalen, dude. Don't ever, I will, I will never catch one of you talking shit about the Jalen Carter prestige. He's so damn good. He's already got three TFLs in this game. Sean Taylor's got a green zone. I want it. I want it. He could go halfback. Don't throw the dig. Oh my God, what a ball, Avalanche! <laughs> oh, it was Devontae Adams, Never mind. That was shut down Devontae Adams. It was not Avalanche. All right, I'm gonna blitz Lewis, Stingley, and Werner. I'm going on Isaiah Oliver. The feds don't want you to know about the Isaiah Oliver. Oh my God, Juke. Ooh, Juke's the other way. Dude, I'm getting dotted up. Can we chill out? Okay, let's go dime. Let's go dime normal Tampa 2. This is a weird defense. I only bring it out every once in a while. Don't you dare run the ball. You ain't going shit with running the ball. Jalen Carter. Oh. Didn't get Jalen Carter. Somehow missed with Ray. He did get some yards on the run. I'm a little shocked. Okay, I think this is going to be a pass now. So I'm going to drop people back. Oh, Cromartie's in. 87 Antonio Cromartie is in. I'm going on Derwin in case it's a run. It's not. I see 88. I see this crosser! Will Anderson! Third and goal. That was huge. I'm going with the dime blitz. This is weird. Oh, no! He got the time, he found the pass, and I wasn't there to break it up or intercept it. Nice play, dude. All right, that was a really good opening drive by him. This is gonna be a battle. First and 10. We got Gronk. Yeah, see, there's Kittle. George Kittle's got a route here. I love that. I'm just gonna check this down to Jameer Gibbs. He looks pretty open. Get a little option there, and he takes the wheel. Oh my God, that has a chance. A very real chance! Ooh, very good defense. That, that was possible, but a little risky. There's George Kittle. Ooh, actually could have racked that. I needed, I wanted to be safe, though. I took the possession catch. We get the first down. Dude, the George Kittle pickup was such a good pickup. Look at this. Since he's slot wide receiver, dude, he's getting all these quality reps. Just going to take the easy one to Jamar. Get a pretty tough hit there. Oh, no. And I don't even get the pass off. Third and 15. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. I think George Kittle will be there. George Kittle is there. Hang on. Huge conversion, third and 50. That's absolutely massive. That's just going to snap this ball and make the read. Just going to take the underneath once again, Jamar Chase. Hey, we are playing slow and steady. Five for six, 50 yards, smart football. He's got him. Oh, my God, he cooked. But he doesn't get in the end zone. Sean Taylor drags him down. First and goal. All right. Right in the middle is Jamar, and he finds his way into the end zone. We need a Jamar Chase octopus right here, right now. Jamar Chase touchdown. We need Jamar Chase to get the two-point conversion. How does he do it? Does he do it with that underneath route? Is this man? I'm going the whip route. I'm going with the whip. Jamar? Jamar? Catch it! They counted it! Octopus! Challenge wheel complete. Oh my God, I thought they weren't gonna count that. Dude, cause he, he did, he kind of came back for the ball and he, oh my God. It must have been barely across the plane. Octopus complete, let's go. Hey, you know what? It's nice to have the challenge wheel out of the way this early, but damn, this is gonna be a battle. He played a really, had a really good opening drive. And we've got a one point lead now though, so that's huge too. What would be awesome is if he scores here and then tries to go for two and doesn't get it. I love those scenarios where they start just digging their hole. Wow. The fact that that didn't work is shocking. I'm going to get a Derwin hit. Dude, have I ever gotten a Derwin Avalanche knockout? I feel like I keep getting so close, but never actually pulling it off. I'm going to try the blitz here. I'm on zero. Ooh, the blitz gets home. Will Anderson. All right, now we can go even 6-1 and send some pressure also. Probably not the blitz. Yeah, let's just go four down linemen. Maybe a corner route. Oh, I'm on that. Hey, Ray Lewis! Dude, do I just double octopus? Just to be a dick, do I double octopus? Just to get 16 points? That was a huge interception. Dude, his first drive was so meticulous. And there he makes a big mistake trying to throw that. Ooh, Jameer Gibbs is going to waddle forward for a yard. Jameer Gibbs, what a rocket. What a huge throw. Okay, let's, let's burn some clock here. Let's just hand this off. Weak side, Jameer Gibbs. Take it right up the gut. Juke left. I, did, I really shouldn't even score that. I actually shouldn't score that. I could double octopus, but I'm just going to take my healthy eight-point lead. It forces his hand. He has to go for two if he scores. I should have kneeled that and used more clock because he's got three timeouts at minute 24, and he can easily tie this up with no time left, and I no longer have this big lead going into half. So that, that was greedy, but there's also no guarantee I get the touchdown, right? So who knows? First and 10. Don't throw the dig. Ball game. Wow. Did he give his control to little brother? <laughs> Let's go. 
We're about to build the most stacked Wheel of Mutt team that has ever existed. Holy shit. Quick rage kit today, boys. I, I apologize. I didn't expect it, but I think that's worthy of a full game, especially because this team is already so good. I feel like, I mean, like I got to roll with this. Oh, and we completed our challenge wheel. You cannot take the octopus away from me. So first things first, let's get our challenge wheel pack, which is the octopus. Damn, I really thought this was going to be a good game. He just like fell apart. We're going to do ultimate legends pack again. S mm, Darren Woodson. I like that. He'll be better than Cromartie. Geno Atkins D tackle and... Aaron Woodson once again. So we take Gino. Gino Atkins actually be great. Can I have him on both sides of the ball? We get Agbanio Caranquo, who's not going to help us, but can I have Gino Atkins at left guard and at D tackle? I wonder if the game will let me. They're on opposite sides of the ball. And I definitely prefer him over Jonathan Hankins because Gino Atkins is uh, is a dog. Hey, it'll let me do that. So Gino Atkins is an upgrade. And then instead of my slot corner being Isaiah Oliver, let's make this Darren Woodson. Oh, you can't. Okay, but I can make it Antonio Cromartie. Then defensively, I can make my backup strong safety be Darren Woodson instead of of Cam Chancellor. Hey! Okay, boy. And of course, the Rage Quit Wheel. And I just love seeing the Rage Quit Wheel. Doesn't it just get you amped up? Seeing that Rage Quit Wheel pop up, baby! A 92 choice. Our choice of a 92 overall player. I'm tempted to take a right tackle, but I feel like we need at least a 94 right tackle. So we should probably save that for a better wheel spin. I could pick up a wide receiver. But once again, I feel like wide receivers gotta be better than that. I think I actually take a fullback here. Yeah, I feel like we take a fullback. There's a 91 fullback. There's a 93 fullback. There's a 94 fullback. There's no 92 overall fullback. I'm gonna pick up up 92 overall Logan Wilson at right outside linebacker. He's honestly really similar to Pete Werner. And uh, once again, our pass rush comes from Will Anderson, Nick Bosa. So we need pass coverage linebackers, uh, which is exactly what Logan Wilson is. 91 speed, 90 excel, 93 tackle, 6'2", 241. I assume he gets Lurkardis. I don't know if he gets it for free, but he definitely gets Lurkardis. Outside linebacker, Logan Wilson. So this will go in for Isaiah McDuffie. Isaiah McDuffie will go to MLB 2. And he gets Lurkardis for 1 AP. Awesome. Yeah, this is a really solid card. Probably should have taken a wide receiver, but I want to save wide receiver for wheel spins, you know, to get a demon. I actually was supposed to get a left outside linebacker. I, I don't think it matters, really. All right, so Logan Wilson at left outside linebacker, Isaiah McDuffie at MLB2, Ray Lewis, Pete Werner. So we've kind of got these, like, budget white pass coverage linebackers, but they're dope. I'm, I'm not mad about it. All right, I am going to take Stonewall off of Derek Stingley, though. That's that's some wasted AP, and we're going to use that one AP on Lurk Artist instead, so we're back to 11 of 11, and we're a 91 overall, and we're 3 and 0. Oh. I can't believe it. All right, boys. Hey, as you're watching this there's a chance that trent williams already dropped or like is about to drop hopefully i'll get him on the squad no promises for next episode if he already dropped i'm just letting you know that maybe there's a delay either way i love you boys we're three and oh in texan season i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i love you peace